The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by... Pharmacraft Laboratories, makers of fresh deodorants, homogenized cream, dry stick, instant roll-on. Come close to the screen and let's see what makes you sneeze. Ragweed make you sneeze? <coughs> Aha! Cat make you sneeze? <coughs> Dust make you sneeze? <coughs> Makeup make you sneeze? <coughs> You've got allergy. You need Allerest. New Allerest calms the cough, the sneeze, the tears, the runny nose, the itchy eye of allergy. Got hay fever? Got an allergy? Get Allerest. I bought the fresh stick, just as you told me. You're absolutely right. It's neat and quick, and it goes on dry. It did make me feel cool and sweet, just as you said. I did everything you said, but my boss still hasn't asked me to lunch. Unlike some deodorants, Fresh doesn't guarantee you'll get ahead in business. All Fresh does is keep you fresh. When you think of it, that's quite a lot. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. You look pretty sharp tonight. Thank you. I think a wife should get dressed up for her husband when he comes home from a hard day at the office. Oh. Besides, we're going out for dinner tonight. Oh. oh well, maybe I'd better check the family finances first. Oh, we're going over to your mom and dad. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> you had me worried there for a minute. I'll get cleaned up. Okay. Hey, what's all this? We're just paying the bills. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I'll get it later. I know, but I thought it was about time I started helping out with some of the paperwork. Oh, okay. Don't you want me to? You sure? What's the matter? Don't you think I can handle it? Well, I, I'm not sure. Uh, somehow you just don't look like the type who'd be good at arithmetic. Oh, is that so? Well, I just may surprise you. You will double-check all the addition and subtraction. Oh, of course. There's no rush, you know. You don't have to finish that tonight. Well, I want to see how much money we have left. Why? Well, I'd kind of like to get a new lamp for the living room table over there. If that's okay with you. Well, yeah, but we don't have to do that tonight, do we? No, but we'll be going right by the lamp store on the way to your folks, so I thought maybe we could stop in if we got an early start. So will you kind of hurry it up? <laughs> okay. May I help you? Oh, uh, we're just looking, thank you. Well, if I can be of any assistance, just let me know. Oh, thank you. Well, do you see anything you like? Yeah, this one's kind of nice. I think that's more for a den. Yeah, I guess you're right. Here's a nice one. Huh? Yeah? You don't sound very enthusiastic. <laughs> don't pay any attention to me. I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Well, it should be not too large and contemporary and pick up the color in the drapes. What color are our drapes? You must be kidding. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Hey, here's one I like. Well, I I'm sure that isn't the color of our drapes, is it? Well, no, of course not, but it matches the wallpaper in the hall. <laughs> now you've really got me confused. Well, do you like it or don't you? Yeah, I, I guess I kind of like it. Of course, I don't know anything about lamps. You know whether you like it or not. Yeah. I guess I like it. Well, I think it's perfect. It's just the right size. Okay. How much is it? $85. <laughs> that is quite a bit. It doesn't even have a bulb in it. <laughs> it's a shame it's so expensive. It's just what I've been looking for. Gee, I didn't know lamps cost that much. Wrong direction. 
direction. I like this one just as well. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Shall we buy it and save the $40? Why don't we think about it for a while? Well, okay. Exactly what I've been looking for. Oh, it sounds just beautiful. Oh, it would look perfect in our living room. I'm sure it would. Well, I guess we're all set. Hey, fellas, dinner's ready. Come and get it. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Hey, you realize you have a small fortune in lamps here, Pop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean. Fortunately, however, we didn't buy them all at once. What was that all about? Uh, lamps. Dave's just discovered the high cost of household furnishings. Oh, yes, I heard about the lamp. Well, I'm beginning to wish I'd never seen it. It's just exactly what we need. <laughs> Junie, do you want to sit there, dear? And Dave, would you sit here? Sure. Oh, here you are. Your troubles are over. It's a real steal at $2.50. <laughs> <laughs> just get a little old-fashioned lampshade and put a bulb in it. Oh, come on now. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know. Well, it is a beautiful lamp. The one in the store, I mean. Unfortunately, we just can't afford it. That is, unless we could take it out of our savings. Yeah, if we hadn't agreed not to touch our savings, except in case of an emergency. I know. Well, it was a good try. You know, that was such a polite fight, I don't even know who won. <laughs> Say, would you fellows like to hear an interesting idea that Junie and I have been discussing? Well, we we're just about to find out who committed the murder, but go ahead. <laughs> Do you remember last summer when you went on that crash diet and took off 15 pounds? Yeah, and put it back on again in two weeks? Hey, Dave, that's what your mother told me. Well, Junie has a wonderful plan. Oh, come on, honey. You don't have to take off any weight. You look just right. Well, this has nothing to do with taking off weight. This is a crash program to save money so we can get the lamp. Oh, but the lamp costs $85. That's a lot of crash. <laughs> I know it. That's why it'll have to be a crash program. We're going to cut down on all our little extravagances. Well, I suppose we could put the yacht in dry dock and let the chauffeur go. Stop having champagne for dinner every night. Well, you're kidding, but that's the general idea. Well, we're not exactly squandering our money right now. Well, you enjoy it, though, Dave. I'll bet there are a lot of little places where you could save money. Look, your mother gave me these recipes to help cut down the food bill. Uh-oh. Look out for the mock lamb chops. <laughs> well, you're a big help. Well, what do you say, Dave? Are you willing to try? I mean, just do we have enough saved to buy the lamb? Sure, it's all right with me. Oh, pardon me, is this a private discussion or can I say a few words? No, come on in and join us. It's an open forum. Well, I'd like to direct my question to Mr. Nelson Sr. Uh, that figures. What's on your mind? Well, I have a date tonight and I'm about five dollars short. No. <laughs> okay, don't forget where you got it. Thanks, Bob. Well, good night. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Hey, I just got a wonderful idea. And you can forget it. I don't have eighty-five dollars. <laughs> You can take another look at it tomorrow. Well, I'd hate to go through all the trouble of saving money for something we don't really want. I thought it was exactly what you wanted. Well, it is, but I just want to take another look at it. Can you see it? No, it's not in the window. Oh, I hope nobody bought it. Well, come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Get the flashlight. What for? Maybe we can see it. Well, you can't see through those shutters, even with a flashlight. Well, maybe we could see through the side there. This is ridiculous. There. What did I tell you? I can see it. Here, stand over here. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Well, come on. Hey, wait a minute. There's another nice one. Nope, I like ours better. It is worth saving for. Yeah. Well, uh, come on, let's go. Well, don't get in such a hurry. As long as we're here, we might as well look around and see what else they have. Hey, there's a cute one for the bedroom. If a policeman sees us, we're liable to end up with ten days free room and board. Say, that's a way to save money. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Good morning, honey. Breakfast is on the table. Oh, good. Guess what I dreamed about last night? The lamp? That wasn't too hard to guess, was it? No, it wasn't. 
Hey, I, uh, I just had a horrible thought. This isn't all we're having for breakfast, is it? Well, yeah, toast and coffee. Don't forget, we're trying to save money. <laughs> yeah, but let's not overdo it. Oh, and do you know what I just remembered? I can save some money by getting day-old bread at the bakery. Stale bread makes the best toast anyhow. Oh, what do I put on it? Oh, here's some apple butter. Oh, thanks. Tomorrow you'll get an egg. Oh, goody. <laughs> You said you were willing to try this. I know. I must admit it sounded a lot easier last night right after that big meal at Mom's. Well, do you want some more coffee? Well, uh, no thanks. I just hope I'm not too weak to drive to work. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You won't be driving. I won't? No, I thought you could save some money if you took the bus. The bus? Well, yeah. You can save on gas and parking, and it's almost as fast, and you can read the paper on the way. Well, at least we're still getting the morning paper. Well, will you try it for a while? Well, well, sure, it's okay with me. The only thing, though, with these small breakfasts, I'm going to get awful hungry at lunch. And without the car, I can't very well come home. Here you are. What's that? Your lunch. Nutritious and filling. Do you want some more coffee, Dave? Yeah, thanks, Mom. Boy, this is more like it. Well, somehow I get a feeling that this isn't exactly ethical. Maybe not, but it sure tastes good. <laughs> Hurry up if you want me to drive you downtown. I've got an early class. Okay. I don't see why you can't take the bus. Because I spent my bus fare to get over here. What are you doing? Checking food specials. At all those markets? Sure, each one has different specials. Were well, you going to drive to all those places? Of course. I'm trying to save money. Well, if you drive around to all those places, you're going to spend more money on gas and you'll save on groceries. That's where you're mistaken. According to the map, it's one and one-tenth miles to Peterson's Market, then two and a half miles to the next one, and an even three miles to Wilbur's, then four-tenths of a mile home. Now, averaging 14 miles to a gallon, it costs 16 cents for the gasoline and approximately 6 cents for oil and maintenance. A total of 22 cents. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Let me finish. We'll save 16 cents on potatoes, 49 cents in soap, 26 cents to roast, 4 cents in apples, 19 cents in frozen vegetables. That's a dollar 14. Less 22 cents, which gives us a saving of 92 cents. <laughs> What do you have to say? I'm still hungry. I think I'll have another two-thirds of a cup of coffee and a quarter of a piece of toast. <laughs> Gives you that refreshing new feeling. Enjoy ice cold Coke right now. Get zing, what a feeling. With ice cold Coke right now. Coca Cola gives you that refreshing new feeling. Zing, what a feeling with the Coke. Ice cold. Ice cold. For real refreshment, reach for the real thing. Ice cold Coke. Right now, Coca Cola gives you that refreshing new feeling. Sing, what a feeling with a Coke, ice cold. 
Enjoy ice cold Coke right now. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Oh, you seem to be in a happy frame of mind tonight. I am very happy. You better hurry and get cleaned up for dinner. What's the rush? We're having company. Your mom and dad are coming over. What are we going to feed them? Mutton stew? No, we're having steak, mashed potatoes, and pie a la mode. Oh, gee, honey, I'm sorry. About what? Well, about the lamp. I had a hunch you'd have to throw in the towel. Oh, you did, did you? Well, smarty, you just take a look over here. What's this? You know darn well what it is, the lamp. You're kidding. Oh, I'm not kidding. I just got home. I haven't even had time to take it out of the boxes. <laughs> Let's go. What are we waiting for? Yeah, I sure am. I never figured you'd save up the money this quickly. Need a die. Well, let's see how it looks. Gee, it looks great. Oh, it does, doesn't it? I still can't figure out how you could save up that much money in such a short time. Well, I did. Do you want to see the checkbook? <laughs> no, I believe you. I'll get it. Hi, come on in. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi Dave. Mom. Hi, Pop. Hi, Dave. Well, where is it? Let's get rid of this old one and bring on the new one. <laughs> well, how do you like it? Oh, it's just beautiful, Jill. It sure is. It's perfect in this room. I'm so proud of both of you. Oh, thanks, Mom, but June deserves all the credit. She said she could do it, and she sure did. <laughs> thank you. Well, I better get cleaned up. Can I take your wrap for you? No, thank you, dear. I think I'll leave it on for a while. Oh, I forgot. We can turn the heat on again. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, you can have it. Okay. I'll just be a minute. I'll get the salad ready. I'll help you. I'll read the paper. That figures. <laughs> How did you ever save so much money so fast? It really wasn't too difficult. This doesn't give much of a light for an expensive lamp. Oh, you can turn it up. It's three-way. Oh. As if you didn't know. <laughs> That's fine. This will cure your arthritis. <laughs> you want me to get it? No, That's all right, Dad. I'll get it. I can imagine who it is. Oh, Mrs. Howard. Hello, Miss Nelson. Oh, I didn't know you had company. Oh, that's all right. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, well... I didn't want to mention it because you've always been so prompt with your rental checks, but I was just going over my accounts and I noticed that I haven't received a check from you for this month. Oh. Uh, possibly it was lost in the mail or perhaps it was just an oversight. No, I guess I just must have forgotten it when I made out the other checks. Gee, I'm awfully sorry. It's perfectly all right. There's no hurry. Well, I'll have it for you tomorrow. That won't be necessary. As I say, there's no hurry. Thank you very much, but we like to pay our bills on time. Well, thanks for reminding me. It's perfectly all right. Good night. Good night. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Anything wrong? I'm afraid so. Now I know how I got the money for the lamp so fast. I forgot to pay the rent. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Oh, yeah. This is awful. The first time I pay the bills and what do I do, I forget the biggest one. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Those things happen all the time. Are you sure you wouldn't like to float a small person alone? <laughs> Scott, I'll work it out somehow. Only thing, though, would you mind not telling Dave anything about it right now? Oh, don't worry about that. We won't say a thing. No, of course not. I'm going to tell him, of course. It's just that I want to pick the right time and do it very diplomatically. Yeah, that's a good idea. Perhaps after dinner. Oh, hi, Dave. Hi. Well, let's start the celebration. There's nothing to celebrate. I forgot to pay the rent. <laughs> I forgot to pay the rent. That's how I save the money for the lamp so fast. Oh, gee. Do you hate me? Well, of course I hate you. I may punch you right in the nose. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Those things happen. Of course. Well, sure. And besides, everything always seems worse on an empty stomach. Come on, how about the steaks? Well, the lamp has to go back first thing in the morning. 
Well, why don't we keep it and just take the money out of our savings account? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, go, how about the stakes? Well, we said we weren't going to touch our savings account, and we're not going to. I'll take it back first thing in the morning. Well, I'm sure you must have saved up some money, haven't you? Yeah, but not nearly enough. Well, we could still do it. It'll just take a little longer. A lot longer. But right. you can sure try. Well, I hope you don't mind having stew for dinner, Dad. Well, Stu, I, I thought we were having steaks. We were, but now they're going to have to last us for at least three nights. Oh. Well. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the stew on. Don't look so sad, honey. We'll get it back. I know, but when? Do you want to know how much money I really saved? I figured it out this morning. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Gee, that isn't too much, is it? No, it isn't. I guess we just better get our money back and forget it. Well, why don't we try to find a cheaper lamp? I suppose we could. Hey, there's one for seventeen ninety-five. Do you like it? No, but it's seventeen ninety-five. Well, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Nice to see you again. Thank you. What can I do for you? Well, uh... I'm afraid I'm going to have to return this lamp. Oh, is there something wrong with it? Oh, no, it's just fine. It's just that it doesn't fit in with our plan. Oh, we discovered that we can't afford it. Oh, I see. Well, why don't you look around? Perhaps you can find something else that's more within your price range. Oh, pardon me, I'll be right back. Good afternoon, may I? What do you say? You want to see if there's anything else you like? I really don't think I'd be happy with anything else. I'd rather get a refund and wait till we can afford this one. Well, it wouldn't hurt to look around. Well, I've seen every lamp they have here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, that's okay. My girl's been taken sick and it keeps me pretty busy. Now then, do you see something else you'd like? Or if not, I'd be glad to give you a refund. <laughs> Pardon me, did you say your regular girl is sick? Yes, it's nothing too serious, but I'm afraid she'll be out for about a week. Do you have someone to take her place? Well, no, not yet. It's a little difficult to get anybody for such a short time. Well, if you're looking for somebody, I'd like to apply for the job. That is, if my husband doesn't mind. <laughs> I'm completely inexperienced, but I'm willing and eager, and I'd like to make some money to pay for a lamp I can't afford. Well, how soon could you start? Well... Pardon me. May I help you, madam? I hate to complain, but I thought we were going to ease up on the economy wave now that you've taken the job. Oh, well, it isn't that. It's just a question of time. I have to get to work. Okay. We may starve, but we're going to get that lamp. Well, bye, honey. Bye. Here, here's your lunch. I fixed it last night. Very funny. Where are the car key? Oh, I I'm sorry. I, I have to have the car today. But here... Here's your bus fare. You wouldn't dare. Well, I guess I can give you a lift to the store. Well, you better. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, how's the job going? Oh, fine, I guess. At least I haven't broken anything yet. Can I sell you a couple dozen lamps? Oh, I wish you could. You certainly have some beautiful ones here. Hey, this is familiar. Yes, I put that one there so I can keep my eye on it. Just think, at the end of the week, it'll be mine. Oh, pardon me, Mom. Can I help you? Yes, I was looking for a lamp I saw in here a few days ago. Oh, there it is. Oh, isn't this lovely? Yes, it certainly is. But then they have lots of nice lamps around here. Here's a pretty lamp. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's beautiful. But I think I like this one better. I'm Mrs. Lee. I have an account here. Would you have this packed for me and I'll pick it up later? Certainly. You sold your lamp. Well, you got to keep the customers happy, you know. Besides, we got another one just like it in the back room. Oh, but you're being an awfully good sport about it. Oh, Mr. Peters, I'd like to have you meet my mother-in-law, Mrs. Nelson. How do you do? Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Nelson? Well, I guess I must have pretty good taste. That lady just bought this lamp. Oh, dear. You said there was another one just like it in the back room. Oh, there is, isn't there? I'm sorry. I sold it this morning. I meant to tell you. Oh, what a shame. Oh, miss. 
Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Lee? Good afternoon. I've been thinking it over, and uh, that lamp may be a little dark for my living room. I think I'll take that other lamp after all. <laughs> Dave? Oh, hi. I see you got the lamp. I sure have. Let's set it up. Get my coat off first. You know, I've learned a lot about the value of money these past few days. Oh, I bet you have. You not only have to work hard to get it, but once you've earned it, it's important you spend it wisely. Oh, that's for sure. And sometimes it's more economical in the long run to spend a little more money and get what you really want. <laughs> you don't have to convince me. I know $85 is a lot for a lamp, but it's what we want and it'll last us a long time. I knew you felt that way. I just wanted to hear you say it again. Hey, this isn't the same lamp. No, it isn't, but don't you like this one even better? Well, I thought you were sold on the other one. Well, I was, but the more I got to thinking about it, it just didn't seem right for us. And this one's much prettier and a lot bigger, too. Well, how much did it cost? $125. $125? How are we going to raise that? Oh, I've got that all figured out. Oh, you're not going to work another week, are you? Oh, no, but we'll just have to cut down a little bit, but I'm sure we can save $5. $5? Uh, the difference between 125 and 85 is 40. That's $40. That's what I mean. $5 a week for eight weeks. <laughs> You're not mad at me, are you? No. But I think I'll have a little talk with my father one of these days and find out how he handles these situations. Are you kidding? We need another lamp like we need a hole in the head. That <laughs> $85? That's a lot of money. Oh, don't be such a grouch. We'll make it up in no time. Come on, dinner's ready. Oh, the Harriet? What are we having for dinner? It's a surprise. Oh. A steak? No. Nope. Lamb chops? No. Nope. It's something special I got at the market. It's called the Economy TV Dinner. <laughs> we have a whole house full of lamps. <laughs> The gentle sounds of springtime seem to say, relax and be refreshed. And just as gently, Salem brings you springtime refreshment. For Salem special paper, air softens every puff, breathes in fresh, cool air to bring you a softer smoke. Take a puff, it's springtime. And in the softness of Salem, there's the rich taste of fine tobaccos. Menthol Fresh, rich tobacco taste. Modern Filter 2, that's Salem. Most delightfully, Salem refreshes your taste. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was brought to you by... Salem Cigarettes, Menthol Fresh, rich tobacco taste. Modern Filter 2, Salem refreshes your taste.